Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of the full project season. In this video we want to create a beautiful dartboard with some simple features in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start it. Ok everybody, at the first step we want to create a polar grid tool. As you see a dartboard is just like a polar grid. So from here, select the polar grid tool and press left click. The concentric divider should be 6 and the radial dividers should be 20. And after that press OK. Now with the selection tool and holding Alt and Shift key I scale it up. And put it to the center of my artboard. After that activate the stroke and use a black color. Ok now I select it, press right click and select ungroup for ungrouping these lines from the curve lines. Now it was separated. Again I select these layers, right click and ungroup them. Select this circle and scale it up. Select all the layers and fit them to the better shape. Ok, now select this circle, scale it up to here, select this circle, scale it up to here, now select this circle. Zooming in and scale it down. For this circle, I activate the fill color and use a white color. Right click, arrange and bring to front. Select it, Command and C, Command and V for duplicate it. Put it here and scale it up. And now right click, arrange, send backward. Very good. Ok, this is the shape of the dartboard. Now this is the time to colorize it. I prepare some color for you here. And these are the codes. You can pause the video and use these codes for adding the color into the every parts of the dartboard. For colorizing it, I want to use Live Paint Bucket Tool. In the Shape Builder Tool category, we have Live Paint Bucket Tool. I select it and I can colorize it here. But before that, I should select all of these layers. Now I select it. We have a text here. Click to make a Live Paint Group. Press the left key and now we have the Live Paint Group. Now I can colorize it. But before that, as you see, I should rotate it because as you see a dartboard is something like this, not that one. And now I select all of the layers, select Live Paint Bucket Tool and again click to make a Live Paint Group. I double click here for reaching to the code D92C2C. CMYK, RGB codes, all of them are here and you can copy into your project. And press OK and start colorizing. Ok now I select this color. This is the color code 58A03C. CMYK code and RGB code. And press OK and start colorizing. OK, now I zoom in and colorize these layers by holding the left key and move the cursor. 
select the previous color and colorize these parts now I fit on a screen again select all of them select live paint bucket tool and select this color this is the color code 44434B colorize this part and these parts okay now I select this color this is a color code F0D7B6 and press OK and colorize other parts very good you can keep the stroke of your dartboard into black but I prefer to select it and change the color of the stroke of the dartboard to white this is better I think here you are you can put it into number 6 this is the stroke weight and this is in white color and now you have all the color codes you know the method of creating a dartboard and you can design it at home I will see you in the next video